Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry. Hi guys, this is Rob from Outdoor Travel Channel. And today I want to talk about Arizona. And the reason I decided to bring this up is uh, I was talking to my sister that lives up in Washington. And it was interesting to hear the questions that she had about where I live. And yes, I'm from Seattle, Washington, evergreen state. We're used to pine trees and big tall trees and mountains, snow and rain. And of course, those that know us, we moved to Arizona. And so I thought I'd kind of show you <coughs> what it's like to be in Arizona and maybe even solve a few myths that you might have about what it's like here. One of the big things that uh, have come up is uh, I've had a lot of uh, people ask, well, do you have snakes and scorpions and uh, <laughs> critters, you know? And yeah, they do exist here, but uh, also depends on what part of Phoenix we're in. We're in the northeast sector of um, Mesa, Arizona, and uh, the house we bought was taken care of very well. So maintenance is important in making sure that you uh, uh, treat your house for one of the big things here is uh, check on termites. Uh, we obviously had this inspected for that, no problems. And uh, an inspection like that's about 50 bucks, not that expensive. <coughs> um, as far as scorpions, it's, it seems like it's different in different sections of Phoenix area. Um, I bought a special light from a Amazon that uh, is an uh, ultraviolet light and you can walk around your yard and they glow <laughs> like a <laughs> like the 1960s posters we used to have with black lights. Anyway, just go around with your flashlight and uh, check and see if you have any. Uh, you treat them just like ants <laughs> if you had any. We don't have that issue. Haven't really heard of many people. But the farther out you live towards the main desert, the more you start seeing critters. Um, so, uh, yeah, people do find, uh, can find snakes and things like that in their yards. And they'll just call somebody uh, to remove them and they get taken out to the wild. They don't get killed. <coughs> so, anyway, some of the things I wanted to show you, and they'll come right over here, is uh, because it gets so warm here, and I'm using a uh, a gimbal today, so I hope that helps. But it's not unusual that um, houses in Arizona will protect their windows to keep sunlight out, but you can still see out. So when I'm in my kitchen, it, you can see out the window just normal, but this is the kind of protection that we see. And a lot of times people's yards will have <coughs> uh, fences like this, and makes you feel very sorry for the noise air conditioning <laughs> it's about a it's supposed to get up to 90 today and it's uh april so uh most people have fences like this and they're very private so if you wanted to swim in your underwear you could get away with it and nobody see you um our uh even though there's houses if i kind of turn here you can tell there's plenty of houses we're in a housing development but feels very private and uh, so that's one of the things I wanted to show you right away the other thing is the plants here are so much different my sister was really surprised I had a Sororo and as you can see I've got one right here and this little guy is very worrisome I always think about Cinder run our dog uh, running into this but somehow she's managed to realize it's something to stay away from but uh yeah, our Sorero, and let me uh, pan the camera upward, is very tall. And it's about, uh, oh, 14, 15 feet, something like that. And uh, so let me show you. The other thing is a lot of people, let me bring my camera down a little bit, will have uh, uh, patio furniture, and which is very nice because when the evenings come here, it's beautiful. And, and uh, the problem is, is the sun is so harsh on everything that you'll have to change your pads out a lot. So 
uh, down here at the end of uh, the season I'll probably have to replace all the pads in here because they'll start fading shade is precious around here so it's funny when you live in Arizona when you go to the stores a lot of times uh, you think everybody wants to park up front because it's convenient but that's not what happens here people park throughout the parking lot if there's trees to try to park the rig or car under shade because you, you've heard that it can get so hot here that when you get in your car you can hardly touch your steering wheel so uh, yeah it's kind of funny so the other thing uh, people talk about is people have swimming pools and we have one uh, a lot of people they're very common uh, it's a cooling source and there's a lot of things you need to consider about having a pool in Arizona so this is ours it's a uh, uh, the deepest part is only like five feet and uh, <laughs> Cinder <laughs> loves the pool so there's no doubt there but if you're gonna have one um, typically most people have a pit pool maintenance person that comes in once a week to add chemicals and check the balance of the water and to check your filters and all that kind of stuff not unusual and uh, that typically can be from fifty to a hundred dollars a month and it's nice to have and they maintain the balance of the pool uh, the other thing you want to consider is if you want a diving pool where one goes to about 10 15 feet at one end and shallow at the other and they'll have a diving board on it typically it's fun when you get kids that like to jump and and dive into the water uh, it takes more water and it's harder to heat it because a lot of people let their pools heat naturally so currently our pool has been uh, hovering about 77 degrees and it got up to 79 yesterday and uh, it'll, it'll keep warming up so uh, the other thing is you could have a heated pool but remember down here electricity as it gets hotter you can be sucking up a lot of electricity because air conditioners that uh, run pretty much all day long uh, the other thing I was going to tell you about is this is where we keep our boat and uh, and yes I had to switch cameras because my gimbal was acting up uh, making sure that things have shade the Sun is brutal down here so that's really important to take care of so I apologize if this uh, camera shakes a little more because I'm not using my gimbal but the other thing I wanted to talk about was most houses are made of stucco so if you see here this is designed to keep heat from penetrating into the house and that's what helps keep it cool so a lot of people will notice that there's a lot of Spanish designs and things like here but typically they they use stucco uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is uh, in this video I'm gonna do a collage with a different camera to show you the different plants we have here now being from Washington everybody's used to a short season uh, spring comes you plant your stuff and then by fall it starts to have to worry about freezes uh, it's very rare they ever freeze around here but uh, the plants are so different and uh, now around the pool we have all kinds of variations of, uh, of palm trees these are a lot of miniature type of palm trees and you can see okay. and, yeah my palm tree here looks kind of sad but uh, yeah there's really cool stuff and here's one I really like this guy this guy right here feels like rubber and it's got pointy edges on it once again the, uh, the ouch <laughs> the pets are uh, uh, respective of our plants here so it's kind of cool the other thing I wanted to try when I was down here is to grow tomatoes and uh, I'm being actually quite successful as you can see and uh, so uh, the tomatoes are quite tasty anyway but they're growing like crazy I don't know how long it will handle the hot weather but I tell you one thing you have to water a plant like this every day and I give it almost a gallon of water a day anyway so the next thing I wanted to do was I'm going to change cameras and show you a close-up of all the plants here and in the front yard we have some very unusual plants and I'll even let you see kind of what the front looks like with all the houses anyway but this uh, does 
video is designed to show you yes it's hot here and in the days you don't do that much you do most of your hard work or do your outdoor work in the mornings and the evenings and they're beautiful and it's usually if there's any clouds in the sky beautiful sunsets all the time and when summer comes will be what they call a monsoon season so we'll get these torrential rains for an hour if at the most and then go away and be beautiful again <laughs> uh, however you got to be careful of flooding temporary flooding and that's what these washes you hear about they look like rivers but they're dried up but when a monsoon comes through stay clear of those <laughs> and uh, uh, you would think people would learn but they still have problems so I hope that kind of helps a little bit of what it's like to live here uh, it's definitely warm but you get kind of used to it and your lifestyle just changes a little bit uh, of now in the summer you know an outdoor travel channel we have a boat and you saw what I, the boat that boat will be taken up to Lake Powell and so when it starts to get 100, 110 here during the summer our getaway will be going up to Lake Powell because it's much cooler so that's how we deal with uh, the hot weather it's like if you lived in Washington and Oregon and it started getting cold a lot of people take their trips to Hawaii in the war or come down here as snowbirds to get away from the cold when it's just the opposite here and the other thing you'll find interesting is Arizona does not change their time zone. So when it's daylight saving time up there in the north and stuff, it doesn't change here at all. And I kind of like that. It's really nice. So uh, yeah, I guess the other thing is try to get used to. I'm having a hard time changing how I dress. It's not unusual. I, I actually am wearing uh, sandals, which is unusual. I never used to wear those. Uh, I got to get used to wearing lighter shirts and. I don't have to layer so much that's from Washington uh, I do wear a hat a lot that protects from the Sun uh, hats are important here you'd be surprised there's more people that own umbrellas down here than in Washington not for rain but for shade so especially if you're going to one of your kids soccer games or something you're sitting outside you want an umbrella for shade so yeah funny it's just different down here but uh uh, people tend to be very happy down here. I think it's because of the good weather and uh, the openness really helps too. You don't feel so confined. So anyway, I'm going to move on to the collage of the plants in the front of the yard. If you have any comments, questions of things, what it's like to live in Arizona compared to where you live, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Uh, it's just a, uh, it's funny when I talk to people up north, they have such a different idea or like oh the hundred degree weather it's only for like three months and then we got nine months of beautiful weather so it's like man I wouldn't want to be up in Washington during the winter when it rains and snows and freezes same thing anyway uh, I hope that takes you know some of the mist away so let's take a look at all the flowers
So I hope you enjoyed that. This is Arizona Living. Uh, there's a lot of things I have left to learn about this area. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the collage of flowers, the lifestyle, and uh, uh, I'm going to try to do more videos of what it's like in the neighborhood. Like, <laughs> stores are so close. Um, and you really don't have to travel far to get your groceries or hospitals or clinics or hardware stores are all nearby and yes there's a lot of people live in the Phoenix area or Arizona it doesn't feel crowded at all like you do in Seattle or Portland so yeah uh, anyway thanks for watching and I'll try to get some more living in Arizona videos done in the future so thanks for being here and don't forget to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos bye hey thanks for watching outdoor travel channel and arizona living and lifestyles please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos keep an eye out for some future boating and some outdoor road trips coming up see ya